Hey, this is Tim Talks, and today we are talking about the awful GoPro and how we can make the footage look not so GoPro-ish. Intro! Hello, I'm back again. I've been gone for a while, but that's because I've been making a whole lot of other movies. Today we're talking about the GoPro. No matter how we look at it, the GoPro is still the best action cam there is because it is small, it has a lot of stuff, so you can attach it everywhere, and compared to other brands like the Sony RX1 here, oh, sorry, the Sony RX1, which promised a lot but didn't really deliver, the GoPro still delivers the best thing. It has amazing image stabilization. You can shoot internal in 4K. And after the GoPro Hero 5 and 4, where you can adjust the angle, so it isn't that wide, it actually becomes pretty good. So the picture though is awful. Every time you put GoPro in with other camera footage, it really stands out because it's really saturated. It's super contrasty and it's sharp. It's just too sharp compared to other stuff. So it really stands out and that really makes the editing process really annoying. But luckily I have found the solution or maybe other people found the solution and then I just perfected it. This is not me stealing other people's stuff. I figured this one out myself because I just recently went on a motorcycle trip where I did use the Sony here and I used the GoPro and I had to match those two to each other. What I will show you today is how to match this GoPro footage to the Sony footage. But if you're shooting in lock mode, this should really apply to other cameras footage as well. If you're just looking for the computer adjustment, just scroll along down here somewhere till you see the computer screen because I am gonna go through the GoPro really quickly where you can actually adjust it here. I haven't done that on this footage. Well, I'm, I'm shooting in a flat mode here. That is might be a little important or you just have to desaturate a little more. But, but if you just want the computer thing, just scroll along until you see a computer screen and it should actually be there quite quickly. So see you later. I have the GoPro Hero 5, but this works with the GoPro Hero 6 as well. But what you do is you go out to the right side and then you scroll in and then you see you have a lot of options here. Now, color, for example, you can go into that and be either on GoPro or flat. Be on flat. I am on flat, you should be on flat as well. And then the sharpness, you go down to that. That is set on high. Now, I have put it on high, but you really just could put it on medium instead. Medium gives it a more cinema kind of look, which should be kind of the problem. So if you shoot in flat, and medium sharpness now already there, it looks much better. And we are on the screen where we are first gonna see what it is that we are talking about. So let me just run through this really quickly. You see me on the motorcycle driving in slow-mo and then some speed up a slow-mo again, then some kind of just fast editing. Now, this here is the done project. If you read a little, you can see that the first ones is the GoPro and then the second ones is something else. And that is the Sony RX0. Now, this footage is not that good. It wasn't that sharp, which was really bad. But I'm just going to run through it really, really, really quickly so you guys can see what it is that I do. And you can take what I have done and make it to your own. So if we go down, we can just run over this GoPro clip. Now, this is the raw thing which means that this is a little flat but that's because i did choose a flat profile on the gopro so i'm just going to open up the editing bay here and the first thing that i did was i put in some gaussian blur or gaussian blur or whatever you call it i'm going to turn that on and you can actually see that it kind of blurs up a whole lot but it makes a whole lot more sense when we put everything together because the GoPro is very sharp all the way through. And I also put some vibrancy on there because also the GoPro, even though that it is a flat profile, you can really see that the greens are really shining through. So if I put that on and I actually put on, I actually put on protect the skin tones and I can turn it off again and you can just see the difference. It's a whole lot. Now, if I compare this to the RX0 footage. You can see that this is kind of a very dark picture, but that is because we have a lot of trees on here. If you notice the green tones, and I go back to the GoPro again, you can see that they are kind of similar. 
Not all the way through, but kind of similar. I can make it go all the way through, mostly because the RX-0 has a lot of stuff going on there, which I can really emulate. But if I turn that on, and let me just do it for the other clips as well, two seconds. Just gonna turn everything on here. Let's run through it and see what happens. Now I should have color corrected it so it looks fairly similar color wise, but also contrast wise, which is a little milky. See here, same thing, very, very flat. And then we jump to the RX zero and it is quite similar. It is a little different, but quite similar. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to do the color grading or we want to put on the, on the look. And I have my adjustments layers down here and I'm going to press V to turn that on again. And we're going to see, I'm actually going to do that where we can see the, the whole thing and turning it off and turning it on. So you can see I'm putting back the shadows, the highlights and the color. And I am going to do that as well over here by the RX zero. And if you see, it is quite similar. Now, when I did this the first time, I actually had to fiddle around a little after I put the look on, but it was, I didn't do anything else, but just taking out a little more vibrance or a little more saturation. And then I went into, I went into the color wheels and I took down the shadows a little, just so it looked more like the others. So that is what I did. Again, I put in some Gaussian blur, some vibe, I put in some Gaussian blur, turn it almost all the way down, put in some vibrancy, turn it, turn it three quarter of the way down, and then protected the skin tones. And then it actually looks quite similar. So that is my way of, make, of giving GoPro that movie look or color correcting it to your Sony footage. So, well, back to me on the couch again. So if you like this movie, please hit the like channel. Just smash that like and smash the subscribe channel. It makes me so happy and it really motivates me to make even more great content for you guys. So let's make this short. Stay tuned, stay creative and have a very, very, very nice day.